Hello. I have another book haul for you today. Woo. Excitement. Okay. So I have eight books and six Nook books to show you. I've never shown you Nook books before, I don't think. But yeah, I have a Nook. And I got a few things on there recently, so I'll show you those too, but we'll start with the actual books first. And the first book I'm going to show you is Changeling by Philippa Gregory. I just really love the cover and everything on this book. I love the pages and how it's meant to look like an old book, and that's really cool. So yeah, this is about werewolves but it's also historical fiction and I'm not too much of a werewolf fan. I try to like werewolf books but I just never can get into them as much as I'd want to. <laughs> just hit myself in the head with it. Um, the only werewolf books that I really liked were Shiver I didn't like Linger and Forever, though, but I thought Shiver was pretty good. And Blood and Chocolate by Annette curtis Claus. I thought that was a really good werewolf book. But everything else, I haven't really liked that much. So, yeah. I'm gonna see how this goes. I'm really excited to check this out, and I'm really hoping it's gonna break my werewolf slump. And the other book I got was also by Philippa Gregory, which is the other bowling girl. And this is a really popular book, and I've been wanting to get it for a really long time. And I actually picked this up for just a dollar, so I thought that was really cool. And it's in really good shape. And I actually like the movie cover a lot. I've never seen the movie, but it sounds really interesting. What I don't like is the really small print. Eh. So I'm hoping it's not as bad as it looks because it's going to give me a headache. <laughs> but yeah, the other one girl. Let me know if you've read this, what you think about it. And then, The Summer I Turned Pretty by Jenny Han, which I talked about how Barnes & Noble lost my package. And uh, apparently they found it, because they resent it to me. So yeah, I got The Summer I Turned Pretty and Story of Us by Deb Coletti. I was looking for really summery reads, and The Summer I Turned Pretty was recommended a lot. The Story of Us is a newer book, but I like Deb Coletti, and it sounded like an interesting read. So, I'm excited to check those out, now that it's summer. Summer books are great during the summer. <laughs> and the next four books are all a part of a series. And they are Living Dead in Dallas, Club Dead, uh, Dead to the World, and Dead as a Doornail by Charlene Harris, which... They are books two through five of the Sookie Stackhouse series. If you watched my uh, June TBR, you saw that um, Dead Until Dark was on my TBR list. And I read it. And I loved it. And I've already read Living Dead in Dallas and Club Dead. And I've loved those too. And I love True Blood. I just love everything about it. But I'm actually thinking that I like the books more. They just have different plots to them that I'm liking the details in the book a lot more. Um, I love True Blood, though. I love the cast. Just everyone's amazing on that show. And I have so many good things to say about just the show and the books. So, yeah, I need to read Dead to the World. I'm probably going to start that ASAP. Because I just love these books a lot and hoping to read the whole series this year, hopefully. I don't know. And that's it for 
the actual books, but for the Nook books, I have, see how awesome this is, slide, and here are the books I got. First is, oh, hold on, Die For Me by Amy Plum. I'm really into finding notebooks for cheap, and this was like $2.99. I love finding popular books like that for $2.99 every so often, or even cheaper than that. I think it's great. I also got Glow by Amy Kathleen Ryan, and this doesn't really have a cover picture or anything. And, oh, this is kind of slow, I'm sorry. And then I got First Frost by Jennifer Estep, which is the prequel to A Touch of Frost, which is the first book in the Mythos Academy series. And this is the prequel, so I bought... Um, a Touch of Frost not too long ago. So before I read that, I'm going to read this one. And then I got another book that's popular that was really cheap. It's Hourglass by... I don't even know who this is by. It doesn't even say on the cover. Myra McIntyre. So I'm looking forward to that. I heard it's about time travel, I believe, but I heard it's really good. And then the last two books are, like, together. But it's Damon by uh, Jennifer Armentrout, and that is the prequel to Half-Blood by Jennifer L. Armentrout. So I got those two. I've heard so many good things about Half Blood and just about um, Jennifer Armentrout in general. I also heard some reviews on this saying it's too much like Vampire Academy, which I love Vampire Academy, so I don't know. We'll see. I like the cover of this, though. I kind of wanted to get the actual paperback because I like the cover so much, but the notebook was only like a dollar, so. I'm going to check that out soon. And those are all the notebooks I got. And that's the end of the book haul, but I'm reading Nightshade by Andrea Crummer right now. And it's a werewolf book, and I was just talking about my not liking werewolf books too much. And it's pretty much the same with this one. This is going by really slow for me. I started it. Tuesday night, and I'm only on page 131, just because I'm not into it, but I think I'm going to start Dead to the World and kind of just stop with this one for a while, maybe I can get back into it. I mean, uh, all the Sookie Stackhouse series, they have werewolves in it, but I love the werewolves in it, like... I was thinking, since I was so into that, that maybe I could get back into a werewolf book and actually like it, but I tried, and I'm still not liking the whole werewolf thing. And I've heard so many good things about this, and it has, like, the most beautiful cover ever, which I don't have on right now. So I really want to like it, but it's kind of hard for me right now to enjoy it. So, yeah, Dead to the World. I want to read it so bad. I love it. I've kind of noticed that one of the books in the series is, like, the whole season of True Blood. Like, Dead Until Dark was the whole first season, Dead in Living Dead in Dallas was the whole second season, and so on. And I think that's actually kind of cool, because, I mean, the books are really, really different. So check them out. I highly recommend them. Um... Yeah, that's really all I have to say. So, that was my book haul, number 12, I think. I don't know. 
I'll find out after I'm done with this. But anyways, have a great day and keep reading.